Josh Sharp helping yeah. with some of the rules. Yeah. Uh, Mark Ritchie on design. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott Pol Polowski, yes. I believe, on art. art. So this is the way to do it. Nobody here. All these local arcades in Orlando get all the new games. And if you go on the days that are off nights, we got two full hours by ourselves. They got this sound isolator above on the top. Wasn't working at the time, but I guess it's supposed to isolate the audio for you when you're playing. So yeah, look at this. Nobody here the whole night. Dude, that's Keith Allen right there, dude. I'm pretty sure that's Keith Allen. A lot. 13, 12. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, 11. Alright, so what you're seeing here is I'm actually playing the new D&D with my friend. And, um, right you know, on the screen, it's it's a special mode in the multi-ball where every time a ball drains, you subtract you one it. from your health, and every time you hit the dragon, it subtracts one from the dragon's health. And um, it's just kind of bad design. It's, it's, it's a really good game. I like it. But um, as far as this feature, I wish, one, we didn't know what to hit. We weren't sure if it was the dragon or these red flashing arrows that you see here. And... Um, with those numbers on the screen, you never get to look up because it's so chaotic. So it should either audio call out and say you have one hit left, two hits left, whatever, or it should be like an inlay built into the play field. So one thing to note that I just saw was that the inlanes are all plastic for Dungeons and Dragons. Um, John Wick does the same. I think there's a couple other games. And then you go to like Godzilla, even Metallica Remastered that just came out. They all have metal inlane guides. I'm not sure what the decision is or why certain games are certain ways. Um, overall, Dungeons & Dragons, we got to bang on it for two hours with nobody else at the local arcade. It's a good game. We really didn't have any complaints about it. We didn't have any issues. Dragon did not bust at all. Um, hitting the dragon, it was a little weird to understand if it was even registering like these left or right omnidirectional hits. Um, half the time it wasn't even down towards the playfield to even hit, so I don't really know. So during modes, the screens kind of look like this, which is nice because you actually see the progress. You're like, hey, there's three things I need to kill. Here's the health bars. You kind of know how much progress you have left to complete the mode, whereas most games, I think you just kind of hit until it goes, and, you know, it just gets a little confusing. So it's nice to see this visually on the screen where it's like, you know, you know exactly how much of the mode left to complete this um, mode. All right, so first I feel like I owe you guys some updates with Pinball Designer. Um been a little bit busy lately and I also got a project uh, pinball related that might take about a week so uh, everything's gonna be pushed back a little bit so I just want to give you guys something to keep your interest here so file load and save I have in right now you know that's something I didn't have before um, here's just a work in progress in Metallica these flippers got messed up it looks like um, just real quick wanted to show you just one or two new features so I can place stickers now on the uh, play field and I ripped a bunch of these images out and cut them out so if I go to sticker like uh, snake mode there's your snake sticker right here that would go here and you'll be able to scale them and stuff to bigger sizes um, so let's see what I wanted to get at is uh, I got these new half inch switches in uh, I have the ability to place stickers on them now, so I can go up here and type in, let's see what it's called, 72, yeah, 72 seasons switch sticker dot JPEG, and there you go, there's the 72 switch, you can kind of see a little bit here from the photo that I took of Metallica, but yeah, it goes right there, you can place it and rotate it like usual. I don't have copy and paste, so I have to create another one here. Yeah, we'll get copy and paste in at some point. Okay, and then one other thing that's easier is if I just name these to 72.1 and 72.2. Um, now what these do is, um, if you read the rule sheet, there's actually four of these switches. There's another two switches here and here. Uh, when you hit all four of them, it activates a mode but you have to hit all four of them um, and you have to hit them at least once so if you go to the programming tab here I uh, just create a new code sequence sequence 4 I'm gonna rename this to 72 seasons uh, qualify is what I'll call it because there's a mode after this this is just to get you into the mode so you add a new step it's gonna be hit any switches specific switches in any order so I have 72 1 and 72 2 
Okay. Um, other key thing is, all right, I need two of them to complete. Again, normally that would be a four. And if you want it to make sure that you have to hit all of them, you're going to you're going to put in um, remove completed shot here. That means that shot, once you hit it once, it can never qualify to add up to this number of shots required. So that's how you kind of get like hit any shot, but you have to hit all of them. That's how you do that. Um, and then there's a layout here we can put on. Um, we'll skip that for now because we're going to go into that in a bit. Um, one thing I want to show you too. So step two would be grant an award. So that would be like, hey, you hit the four switches. What do you want to do after that? So we're going to kick this off to like kind of trigger another sequence. So this will be like 72 season. Well, let's, we got to create the award first. So we go to the awards tab, click it. Uh, we're going to name this 72 seasons award. If you want it to be an achievement that pops up, you can put it here and you can put an icon and you'll see it pop up like I've shown before. Now that we have the award, we go back here, go into the code step. The award that we're going to grant is going to be the 72 seasons award. Okay, so when you hit the two switches, it's going to grant this award. Now what we can do with this award, uh, we can make it light up things too. So down here, um, I'm putting in a new light insert light and then on top of that I'm going to throw a sticker on top of it and this is going to be let me see sticker yeah sticker 72 seasons mode again I ripped this from the play field here so you just put the sticker right on top uh, if I go here I can also edit the light I just moved the sticker real quick um, I can tell you what color I want the light to be so in the game normally it's um, white but I'm gonna make it yellow so right now it's on by default but I want to say light when award is granted and that would be 72 seasons award and now it turns off because the award is not granted so um, the other thing I'm gonna do from there is when you actually after you qualified the mode there's a, the actual mode itself which is the 72 seasons mode and what this is, we'll go through this again in a deep dive when we do the game. But it's uh, hits um, when you're in the mode, you hit 72 switches on the play field. It's any switch, any drop target, slingshot, any rollover. So what you do here is just do an unordered sequence. We're going to say number of shots required is 72, and it's any switch. So instead of listing, you can list up to 10 switches you need to hit in an order. Here we're just saying hit any switch on the play field. Um, what else is here? Um, so I, I actually was missing. Um, I got to wait for the trigger. There needs to be another step that says wait for an award to grant. So we'll put that in really quick. It only take a couple minutes. But uh, in the meantime, we'll just do uh, hit 72 switches and then we'll start a multi ball. So multi ball sequence, number of balls that you kick into play. Uh, we'll do like three. And then the ball save timer, uh, I guess we'll just keep at 10 to show you. Um, and from there, we can also do one other thing. So this is the screen layouts tab up here. Um, I'm just going to click, click a layout that I have right here. This is just some stupid thing. So if I hit space, I can add a static image. And I go over here, and I have a bunch of images already loaded. So this will be the 72 seasons overlay PNG. Hit enter, and it's there. We can rescale it. Let's do point 0.2. It's a little bit bigger than it is in the normal game, but it's fine. So when you're in this mode, this pops up on, on top of the main screen. Uh, if you look over here on the image tab, you can actually see all the images. I need to create a scroll wheel for this so you can see them all. There's movie clips here as well. So these are all the MP4s for different like multi balls and all the LCD animations that can play. Um, like when the extra balls lit and the, you see the animation there. So all those I've extracted from the game, actually. Um, again, let's go back here. We'll go to our new screen layout. What we can also do is do add static text. And I can just do like something like this and say 72 seasons mode. Uh, the font, I have another font loaded. I'm trying to think gothic. So I got some weird like crazy font like that. We can make this any color we want. We can put it wherever we want. I'll just keep it in the middle of the screen. Uh, we can also add more text. 
we can now add variables. So we go to our new sequence that we created, sequence three, step one. Um, well maybe it's not three, let me see here. All oh, right, we call it our sequence uh, 72 seasons mode. So let's go back here. Um, go back up here, the variable we're grabbing is from that mode, so 72 seasons. Oh, what is it called? There it is. There's no space. So 72 seasons mode, step one, and then we do num hits remaining. And by default, once it's there, I haven't even hit enter and it's fetching it already by name, so it fetches the 72 that we had there. And we can also add another one. Would be 72 seasons mode dot step one again, and this would be num hits, which would be zero because we don't have anything hit yet. And um, I can put a slash here, but we'll go through that later. Um, so you have that going. So let's go ahead and put this on. Um, we activate this by default anytime you're playing, so the sequence properties for this entire code sequence could have 100 steps. Always active. So now you see it turns into active over here, so I'm in qualify mode. Okay. Um, again, I have to hit these two switches here. So there's one. There's two. You see it went to complete over here in the left. And because that award was granted over here, it says over here it's completed, right? Because it was completed, this light um, was tied to that award, so that award is now granted for the play field. And then, again, what I'm missing right now is this should also start this mode, um, but it doesn't have an, a, a thing to wait for an award to be granted. So right now I'm just going to turn this to active by default, so manually. So now it's on. Remember, the... Um, Oh, we got to do one thing real quick. So this sequence now has a screen layout. So add screen layout 11. So that there we go. Now it pops up. So while this is uh, alive, um, we have this icon that shows up. And I'm actually going to just edit it in real time here. So by default, your variables print over here in this little window. Oh, it's horrible. It's in white. You can't see it. Let's change the font to black. There we go. And let me get to the other one here. The mouse clicking is a little bit off. So I moved it out. So now they're black. And we put them right up in there. Okay. Now I exit the screen. If I hit tab, uh, oh, it should have showed the screen here, but it's messed up. But yeah, so you have 0 and 72. So now that that mode's active, again, I said anytime you hit a switch, it goes down. So you see I hit one switch. There's 71 left. Sorry, I got grabbed by a magnet that I put on there. So you see it's going down. And anyway, that shows the magnet feature right there. So it's just grabbing these three balls. Um, so I hit five switches. I got 67 to go. And again, I can add a spinner in here. And you can just see how it would work. Drop the ball. You start seeing this. It's 25 switches, 46 left. Um, again, same thing with stickers. You can go on here and put a front and back sticker for the spinner. So... So I called this actually skull spinner sticker dot jpeg. Boom. So now you see the Metallica skull on there. And then if I keep hitting this, it should go up to 72. Eventually over here, this will switch from active to complete. And there you go. It's now complete. And then what that could do is, again, you could grant an award that would last for the lifetime of the ball. Um, or for the lifetime of the game that somebody completed a mode and you could light one of these major... Um, mode lights here. Now if you were paying attention you'd probably see that the multi-ball did not actually start so what we do is if we hit tab we go into actual player mode so we set all our screen layouts here press start press start press start we can actually go in here and put some money in you'll see up here it's pretty small but it says credits one out of two credits one and keep putting money in this thing all day so this is a special special type of feature here. If you go into the main screen, oh, I can't really get over there. I'll drag it. Oh, that's right. It's in a different thing. But all you do is add a currency info. Okay. And that currency info just grabs every time someone puts money in. 
and the credits can go up by quarters or whatever your system is set at the time. Again, as you manually change it, you know, if you want to take uh, four quarters of credit, uh, one quarter of credit, whatever, it'll just eat it up. So here, if I press start, boom, I have a player. You should have heard the sound too. Now I have some players. Um, and I can make a multi-ball. So I'll just make sequence three. I'll just make this a grant a multi-ball so you can see. So two multi-balls, 10 seconds, always active. And there you go. It kicked a ball, kicked another ball. And if I let them drain, one drained out, should start kicking another one. So yep, there's another one that just kicked. And it's completed. So I only got three balls on that. Now some other things real quick just to show you I have another um, thing here it's like a mode select screen so you click this you put all your images in so I have a bunch of them listed here um, they cycle horizontally there's three per page so these are all the options you can select and again you go to a code sequence I just added a new one I'm telling it to push on a screen layout it's going to be the mode select layout and then after that I can put all my things for what I need to do for that mode um, so if I just right click here I'll reset it and you see the mode select screen comes on so I can actually cycle and eventually when you hit enter again it's going to grant an award and that award can kick on another code sequence so you'll either have a code sequence or battery enter Sandman whatever I hit enter and it, it goes to that code sequence alright I'm being a little bit generous here so if I go into screen select these are uh, screens that exist by default player one player two three four the main screen, which is this one up here, the way you see it's laid out. Um, you also have music select screen. So if you're making a music pin, you click here. Uh, I can get. I'll just leave that on there. But I have. Um, let's see. Bell tolls music select MP4. So you put the video that you want it to play, and then the music file that it would play afterwards. So I know I have a battery music select that MP4. Uh, I have a fade to black, and I think I have a creeping death one. Yes. Okay, so with these on by default, um, when you're in the music select screen, there you go. I can just cycle left or right, plays those animations, and eventually you hit enter, or when you plunge the ball, I think it should go off. Oh, let me actually put a player in. So if I buy a player in and then plunge the ball, music select goes on. So that was the launch ball animation I put in, and then music select comes off.